Okay, we're back. Gonna play a match. Game, I guess, is more appropriate. Try to get some units. Alright, we did it. We're really far away from our guardian, but we do have the combo. So, if we can get the combo online, there's another reason to play more time. <coughs> we are playing nine time. Of course, we bricked. So, if we go justice, justice, we'll probably be in really good shape this game. Or, sorry, time, time. But, didn't get there. We could make this a 5-5. Five five. Actually, don't hate, hate that. Like, the reason not to do it is execute, but if we miss, we're already not casting this, basically, for a really long time. We could just put them to the test. If they have no removal, they might just die, which is sweet. If they have the execute, it's going to be a problem. They did not have it. And we drew a time. So we could just jam Morningstar, put them to 11. Uh, that is really aggressive, but <laughs> this is a lot safer to play this to try to block. Uh, but the thing is, this color combination, they're going to be playing a lot of things to try to get this through. So playing this, hoping to block, and if it fails, if we don't get the block, then we much would have much rather suit this up. But you know, the safest possible thing would be to play this and don't attack. Um, I don't like that all that much. I think I'm gonna go halfway and just attack and then play a blocker. So that's interesting. Like any of those options could have been a thing, but and we'll see. So if he if he does do something to get this through that doesn't involve killing this, we could then just morning star up this and then hit him for a bunch. All right. So this kind of worked out. This doesn't do anything, but it does block this really effectively. So I think if I attack, he's going to double block. So I'd rather, if I was going to attack, I'd rather throw the Morning Star on it. But I kind of want to, like, I can just play this and then block his 3-3. So I think I'm just going to play this and pass and kill, attempt to kill the 3-3. Preserve this combo for later in the game might be better. You know, a lot of ways to play this game. I took, like, a midway approach, uh, so I'm not sure if it's right, but we'll see. If he doesn't have anything to help this along, it, it'll probably end pretty well for us. So that, that's really good. Well, we're obviously blocking the 3-2. Oh, we hit the time, right on time. It's before this can get out of hand. So if he really can't, if he can't kill this, we're in pretty good shape. All right. So I actually don't care all that much about that. Like we're gonna be racing really nicely with with this. It's really bad if he can kill this, but he clearly has no removal. So we are fine. We just want to send the team. We got this back to block his 3-3. Three, three. 
we are letting him dig towards removal, but how many ways could he really have to kill this in his deck? Probably not a ton. The grossest thing is if he has quick draw, the plus four plus oh rapid shot. So we could like double block and kill that thing. Alright, we're not playing around quick draw. Or rapid shot rather. Yeah, I think he's just gonna be dead, to be honest. guy. So as I mentioned in the draft portion, like this is what made makes our deck powerful, having these two. So this is interesting. I don't want to risk this guy. So if he has like a death strike, he can like get a two for one on us. Um, the, like the, the greediest block is, is like these two. I could just take it and swing back. Like we're at 34. Let's just take it. I see. What's he gonna bring back? There's nothing great. Yeah, he just wants to draw more cards. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, is he a backlash? He has a fast spell, because it paused there. So maybe he has, uh, like, lightning strike? Attack with everything. Put him to one. <clears throat> All right. We get. We got him. That went to plan. Alright, let's do another. <clears throat> that game right there is one of illustrates one of my problems with the draft format is that that is way too easy to do. It's way too common for someone to just assemble a flyer and a weapon and just win the game. <laughs> like, uh, yes, it really helped that that had life steal and uh, endurance, but it wasn't that necessary. If we if that had no other abilities, it still would have been probably a game winning play in that situation, just because there's so little removal that can deal with that. So this is like again not doing enough. So. Try to do better, and again we we mulligan into a really rough hand. But if we draw all of our colors, we have the combo. We make it. Oh, geez, we're gonna get run over though before that happens. So we really need to hit our other other factions. We're pretty dead. Wow, he had a nuts draw too. That first hand was not going to beat this either, so, you know, we had the mulligan, and we just mulliganed the unplayable hand, basically. And that doesn't even matter that much. <laughs> yeah. Eyes oh, deck's really good. Oath book is nice. If we drew a power there... I even if we draw one next turn, we might have a chance because we can like, kill this with the javelin. Uh, but we need to do it now. No more messing around. Oh god. Nope, now we're just dead. And he had really close to the nut draw anyway, so we're just, even if we had it, even if we could kill this, we're still dead on board. That's one of those variants win, variance losses you can do nothing about.
I don't think you can keep that first hand. It's just too too dirtily, too flooded already. And we don't, as we discussed, we don't have a ton of things to go to help us get out of the flood. We don't have that many expensive cards. Can't keep this one. So let's hope the Mulligan gods are qu kinder to us this time around. And we can we can get by with this. We can cast things. We would like to do more, but yeah, this is kind of what I was afraid of. It's just flooding. Lucky, luckily, he's not putting like any pressure on. So we have a great dispel target. Make that a 1-1. One, one. Wow. So at least if we draw the the Morning Star, we're we're in business. That card's really good. Hmm. We might want to get this going. Try to get this to be able to block that 3-3 next turn. It's not that critical to get this attacking right away. Okay. Take it. So I'm pretty suspicious. I think he could easily have pump spells to mess us up if we attack. Do I care? Kind of do. We don't really want to trade this for a plus three, plus three. The, the more common thing for him to target would be this, and then we could vanquish it, which is kind of attractive. He could double block. That's good for us, too. Let's just attack. If he blocks, or if he didn't block, we'll just play the Guardian now. This is good. He's working his way to like make that large, which is kind of what we want. So we can kill it with Vanquish. So now we don't want to attack because he can like trade it with the 3 5. But we will try to do this. <clears throat> we are flooded, but we knew that was going to happen. Oh, punished. It's not that bad. Like, this is going to get just as big pretty soon. We'll just take it. We really need to draw our mace, though. Or, like, Desert Marshal would be okay. We could just now double block, actually. But we could also chump and try to make this bigger. What did he do? Oh, he ultimated that, too. Well, we're going to vanquish that. Question is, do we double block or just chump? Problem is... It's going to take all two, three more turns to get this out of range, and, you know, he could have pump spells. He's tapped out. Let's just Let's just get rid of it. It's going to come down to top decks now. Um, if we draw our weapon, we'll probably win. If we don't, it's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough. Ooh, that would 
be scary if he attacked with that. Alright, so he dumped his hand. Ah, oh, man, brutal. So you're just gonna ultimate that, and it's totally fine if we draw one of our weapons, but we're gonna need to do that soon. Oh, no, I should have blocked that one. Oh, well. Awkward game. I probably should have, like, chumped the 3, 5, and 8 is 1, 1. I'm going to do it this time if I get the option. Chump. Gross. done this. <laughs> uh, this actually doesn't do anything. It removes an Aegis shield, which is pretty relevant. It's not over, dude. Not yet. Surviving. not impossible, but probably. So we're actually going to go to 9 on the blocks here. So if we like... Oh no, he has Overwhelm. Yeah, he got us. Uh, so if we like jump... Block, block... Yeah. I don't think we can survive that turn. Oh, we did. Survived at 1. But never drew our weapons. So we hung in there, but his deck was better. Like <laughs> he's got legit powerful stuff going on there. Interesting. We actually we can't get flooded that easily with this hand, which is a good thing, but having no two drops is just too rough. We've got so many, like this hand, this hand ends up being a lot better, I think. out there now instead of this. <clears throat> so 
So now we're kind of faced with how safe do we want to be, like, this is like, the holding this up is like the safest thing we can do. This is like the aggressive thing, and like leave this back to like trade, but again, there's so many things he could throw on this, like, uh, there's just a bunch of things. So, and some of the things he might do, like he could throw on the weapon that gives quick draw, and this would like, get net us a two for one if we do that. It's really tough decision. We could, this is another safe thing we could do, but I think if we were going to silence, we'd want to just use that. If he has nothing, we want to just play this. But, you know, people play this card with ways to get it through. That's why they're playing it. So let's give him credit for having something and try to blow him out with Desert Marshal. Alright, there it is. Now we can just double block. Much better than him drawing three. Knife Jack. I don't like that card in draft. Let's get this going. Now that there's not a crazy threatening infiltrate thing on the board. And the other thing that's sweet is if he has haunting screams, this doesn't do anything anymore. Like, Dispel and Silence effects are just really good against this color combo. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and silence this. Alright. So we're kind of owning him so far. All of our science, silence effects have been really important. Okay. So his aggressive strategy is not going to work out too well against our Karmic Guardian. So we still have the next thing we draw is plus one, plus one. I'm blocking. He can finish it off. Alright. That's pretty annoying, but there's not much we can do. We definitely want to keep doing that. Guess we'll keep the fire sigil a secret for now. We might be able to blow him out with this synchronized strike. Yep. One pretty clean. All right. Now I think we want to. Question is, do we want to just use this? All lets us do really is get in with this. Eh, maybe that's worth it. I just think we might want to save this for a flyer or something. And like, we have good block. Like, I don't mind just double blocking there. kind of a disaster if he has removal, but he's just killing cheap guys, that one of which replaced itself. We could just block at the 4-4, but I don't think so. I think we want to keep preserved the 4-4. Four four. Alright, what's he gonna get? That thing again? Now we might just javelin it so we can get in with our 4-4 four four safely. sure he's gonna block, but that's okay. And then this thing can get in safer. So he only has power in hand. So I imagine we win this. Oh yeah. I'll just throw it on this. Good 
choice. Got him. That's a matchup was really good. It a showcase for why Dispel is really good. Like, the Felm deck just gets wrecked pretty hard by silence effects. And I think the Felm deck's one of the best things you can be doing. It's usually pretty underdrafted. Uh, I think this one's good enough. No two drop, but it's on the draw. We do have a nice curve here. Nice curve outside the fact that we have no two. Like, we've got some of the more powerful cards in our deck, like the Sauropod. If they, if they have strangers, though, this becomes kind of a liability. But we just drew a pretty good three drop replacement. Ooh, outlets. That's interesting. Oh man, we could have a really, really nice curve this game now, now that we drew that. And he's stuck on a color. Well, he got there. Again, this would be another great place for our silence effects, but we did not draw it. But what we do have are a bunch of 3 threes, and this is going to walk down the board in the air soon. Mm, Alright, that's fair. Is he really going to trade the owl for one of those? Ooh, let's do this. So we're racing him pretty hard here. And he's stuck on a color. Don't like that he keeps war crying, but we, we won't stop that anyway, no matter what we do. Um, let's get in there. I think we just want to drop five fours while he's stuck on power. He's going to have to stop attacking at some point. That's good for him. He's gonna block there. Uh, do we want to do this and this? It does use our mana better. This should keep him from attacking. If we draw a power, he'll... yeah, alright. I don't think it really mattered what we did there. Alright, so... <clears throat> feeling okay. Three wins. This deck, I think, could be good for five or six wins, but, you know, it's a tall task tall task to ask to win two or three more from having two losses. Certainly possible. We have a bunch of draws that are really hard to deal with if we get there. That game was... The, man, that, the last game didn't count too much. It kind of counteracts one of our losses that we had where we drew nothing past none of our colors. So, let's see how this goes. Strong, but not being able to cast this is a big problem. I think, oh, and this is like a dead card, so I think we'll try to do better. Uh, we we made made some castable plays, which is good. Man, everyone with the knife jacks. Eesh. We do 
have this. It's really a huge liability if they have strangers. They did not. I think we're gonna try to do this. See what he's got. Nothing. If he can't like remove these, it's pretty sick. Alright, we got him to slow down. So... I don't mind just attacking with this. The question is, do we want to glaive up this? And he like, can't block it, and... We get two war cries. Kinda like that. What? Why would he trade his flying tutu for his non-flying tutu? That I'll never know. Maybe because dark return makes it's better dark return target? That'd be the only thing. Oh, okay. Shadowlands guide. I get it. Something was up there. So if we draw power, we're, it's pretty, pretty good here. Ooh, unlock potential. <laughs> now he can't yeah it's like this is like really aggressive but oh no he has a spell oh he's annihilate torch all right that's really bad for me but we got some war cries out of the deal we lost like three cards for well, for two there Ooh, okay. So awkward. We can play this to chump, or we can play this just to kill it. I kinda wanna keep leap I might, might need to keep this to kill the flyer. Also, just take lots of damage with that play. <clears throat> We're gonna take lots of damage no matter what we do. Hmm. I don't know what the best thing is. Like, part of the reason to do this is to guarantee that, and then hopefully this can block that. But in the meantime, we've chumped it, and we're taking eight. All right, fine. I don't think it's very good, though. <clears throat> we could also block here. And take eight as well. Um, eight down to seven. How much does that matter? It kind of matters a lot with this. <clears throat> Five down to two. Yeah, I don't know that we can win now. Yeah. All right, I think we're playing that. Hopefully he bricked. Oh god, you killed us. Alright, so that's gonna be it. Um, we'll take another quick look at the deck, but... Kind of disappointing, 3-3. Three
the deck wasn't anything special. So you remember when I said at the beginning, or at some point in this series of videos, um, that there's just not a ton of removal, and that was true for my deck. Like, all I have is Vanquish, right? And like I splashed this Magma Javelin. Um, so, you know, and that, it's not like I wasn't looking for it. <laughs> I was looking for it, it's just it's hard to come by. So, uh, point being, um, I do think this strategy is really good of trying to, like, s go with a Guardian and put a Morningstar on it. Um, or a replace this with any flyer and any weapon is usually a good way to win. Um, that last game was just kind of weird stumbling stuff. That was He had a interesting draw there. Um, so anyway, no, it was good. So thanks for watching, everyone. Definitely check out my articles on Newmark Gaming. I've got various draft articles up already, um, and you can see my full thoughts on every single card. I have a set review out for both constructed and limited, so if you want to see my thoughts on every card, check those out. Uh, thanks for watching.